Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Barry Beckham. Over the years, the use of third party filters has never had a great deal of acceptance amongst photographers, camera clubs, and certainly in competitions. I think the main blame for that is the photographers themselves, who sometimes thought that applying a filter effect to a badly exposed and composed image suddenly made that image spectacular. Well, of course, it doesn't. One of the problems that photographers have faced is that adding the same filter effect that thousands of others can also apply isn't seen by your peers as photographic art. Far from it. If the filter effect we apply doesn't improve the image, but merely makes a mediocre picture different, then we've failed. We have to add the filters in such a way as to lift the appeal of the image, or what is the point of doing it? Adding a standard filter straight from the box can sometimes work, but more often than not, it will not be viewed in a positive light, because it's seen as transient, easy to apply. Creating something unique usually involves Photoshop, layers and masks, and perhaps at least two or three applications of different filters to the one image. It also usually entails a little bit of hands-on manipulation to finish the image off. But I think attitude to filters in Photoshop is changing, so perhaps now is the time to get creative and dip your toe into the derivative water. Creating a derivative colour slide back in my film days used to be an accepted practice, so why not now? Getting to a really good end result can be a little trial and error, but the more we have a go at this, the more experienced we become, and our success rate will almost certainly increase. I had an idea to put together a slideshow using images shot at an English Civil War reenactment back in 2004, and I think some of the images are even earlier than that. My idea was to try to create a sort of old master type effect on the images to add some added appeal. The filters I have chosen to use are Topaz Impressionist filters. But of course the image is fairly important, the choice of image and its content. So what I'm going to do in this video is just take you through the process that I discovered to create what you've been seeing in the few images I've been showing so far. And I'm down to my final one, so we'll clear this from the screen and make a start. 